Hi, I'm John Erickson, the manager of the Hoffman Estates Branch Library, and I'm here to announce an exciting new program. Starting in the fall, we're going to have a monthly story time with the mayor. Come in and meet the mayor and listen to some great, colorful, and exciting stories. Uh, further details will follow in the library's program guide and on the village's website. See you then. Okay, we're here at the Branch Library on Hassel Road to do some reading to members of the public and young people in particular. So before we get started, I'm the mayor of Hoffman Estates. Do you know what that means? What does a mayor do? Basically what your, your local village government does is we do public health and safety. That means we make sure there's police if you need police. We have a fire department and paramedics in case you have a medical emergency or some sort of fire. The Public Works Department maintains the roads. They also maintain the water system and the sewer system and make sure when you turn the faucet on that good drinking water comes out and when you flush the toilet that stuff goes where it's supposed to go. That's the major focus of our, of, of our village. We also uh, have a code department that they inspect buildings and if someone is building a house or doing an improvement or building a shopping center or some sort of office building, they come out and make sure that everything is done right that the building will be safe. And we have a Health and Human Service Department that does, uh, they do counseling, they give inoculations. You go to the Village Hall right before school starts and you'll see hundreds of kids there, so. But that's public health and safety is our major focus. I am a tiger, but that's a mouse. He thinks he's a tiger. Oh well, maybe he is a tiger, we'll find out. I am a tiger. He's a tiger. No, you're not. A tiger is much bigger than you. It has a bit more. Grrr. Those tigers are pretty tough. Tigers can be small too. Grrr. Not that small. And a tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there. I am a tiger. A tiger can climb a tree. Can you? I could climb a tree. I could climb to the to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I am a tiger. Go on then, climb up to the moon. I can't just now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for its lunch. I am a tiger. <laughs> is it a mouse? He thinks he's a tiger. No, you're not. You're a uh. I'm not an uh uh chew. I am a tiger. Poor guy sneezed. So the pollen. No, I am a tiger. Ha ha ha, you're not a tiger, you're a mouse. Look at your tiny twitchy nose. Look at your little hands and feet. I'll bet you had cheese for breakfast. I'm a tiger. <laughs> I can do this. What about you? Oh dear, you, sir, are definitely a mouse, and I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are you? That's a real tiger. Furry, strippy, funny looking face. This is a caterpillar. Long red. Like to bounce. This is a balloon. This pointy, huge, it hangs in this pointy, this pointy hangs in trees. This is a squirrel. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. <laughs> Now, I really must be going. My lunch won't, can't, my lunch won't catch itself. 
What a silly old bunch. Gah! I'm not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious. I am a crocodile. <laughs> he thinks he's a crocodile. He's pretty funny. Doesn't know what he is. So you got a bird and a mouse and a snake, fox. Oh my God, all kinds of animals there. But he thinks he's a tiger. <laughs> Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I don't know. I've never seen a pigeon drive a bus. Hmm. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. <laughs> This is for Cheryl. I thought he'd never leave, says the pigeon. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please? I'll be careful. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. True story. I don't know about that. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No? I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once. Around the block. I'll be... I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? Oh, fair. I bet your, I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. <laughs> I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Mm, oh no. Bye. Hey. Ooh, now he's got a truck there. He's going to drive the truck. <laughs> I don't think you want him driving the truck either, do you? Do you ever sit and fidget? When you don't know what to do, everybody gets the fidgets, even me, even you. And today was quite an awful day for me and my poor pup. My trouble was I had a mind that I couldn't make up. It's awfully awful when you can't make up your mind. Do you want to kick a football or sit there on your behind? Do you want to go out skating, fly a kite, or climb a tree? Do you want to eat a pizza, take a bath, or watch TV? Oh, you get so many hunches, and then you don't know ever quite. In the right hunch is a wrong hunch. Then the wrong hunch might be right. There I was, inside the house, so fuddled I couldn't shout when I got a hunch. A happy hunch that I shouldn't be in, but out. But before I could follow that happy hunch, a voice snapped, Don't you dare! And a real tough hunch informed me, You're not going anywhere. There's homework to be done, bub. Sit your pants down on that chair. And so I did. I sat me down. But as soon as I got sat, a better hunch came. And be yanked off the house, the homework, hunch's hat. The better hunch said, well, we'll head downtown. We'll pick up your good friend James. And together we'll trot to some real cool spot. And we'll play a few video games. So, of course, that's what I started to do. But a sour hunch came to spoil it. 
Your bike is, bicycle's rusting, he yapped. Get yourself back and oil it. But my mind was so mixed up, I really didn't know if I wanted to go to the barber shop or to Boise, Idaho. Then a very odd hunch upset me when he asked me loud and clear, do you think it might be helpful if you went to the bathroom, dear? Before I could even answer him, a new voice interrupted. That mind of yours, I heard him say, is frightfully guffluped. Your mind is murky mushy. Will you make it up or won't you? If you won't, you are a wanter. Do you understand or don't you? If you don't, you are a danter. You're a canter if you can't. I would really like to help you, but you're hopeless, so I shan't. <clears throat> then a spookish hunch, look at that spooky hunch, suggested I go four ways all at once. But I didn't fall for that one. I am not that dumb a dunce. I knew where I would end up if I, if I tried a thing like that. Most likely in some dead end road in West Jehosa Flat. I was much too smart for that four way hunch. But the next thing that I knew, I was following a nowhere hunch, a real dumb thing to do. Everybody sometimes does it, even me and even you. I followed him in circles till we wore the rug right through. Then I heard an up hunch laugh. You are a stupid schlup. The way to go is not around the way to go is up. That seemed to make a lot of sense. I even took my chair. I just know I'd make my mind up if I had some high, fresh air. But the up hunch I had followed was a phony and a fake. Way up top, I met a down hunch and he sighed, for goodness sake, you should never trust an up hunch. You have made a big mistake. Then things got really out of hand. Wild hunches and big bunches were scraping all around me, throwing crunchy, hunchy hunches. And some super hunch was yelling, make your mind up, get it done. Only you can make your mind up. You're the one and only one. One of me could never do it. And quite suddenly I knew, to get a jab like that done would take more of me, like two. And maybe even more of me, like three of me, or four of me. It took an awful lot of me. It took a lot of yelling. It took a lot of shoving and hot bargaining and selling. We all talked the hunches over, up and down and through and through. We argued and we bargued. We decided what to do. And finally, I followed a munch hunch, the best lunch, best lunch of the bunch. I followed him to the kitchen and had six hot dogs for lunch. Whoa, that's a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming thank in. So I appreciate it. Hi, I'm John Erickson, the manager of the Hoffman Estates Branch Library, and I'm here to announce an exciting new program. Starting in the fall, we're gonna have a monthly story time with the mayor. Come in and meet the mayor and listen to some great, colorful, and exciting stories. Uh, further details will follow in the library's program guide and on the village's website. See you then.